Going on a bus to Puno. Puno is a city next to Lake Titicaca. The highest, uh, one of the highest elevation and largest lakes in the world. Wow. 15,000 feet, I think, roughly 15. So <clears throat> we're taking a bus. It's Tren Trenzelzella. Trenzella is our bus, and it's luxury two story bus with a reclining seats and Wi Fi for seven hours, so it should be fun. And it's just Dirk, Morgan, and me now. I can bus for the next seven hours. Sheesh! This is a uh, first class, baby. Hell yeah, it is, dude. Look at this thing. We made it to Bruno, like Chitigaka. And Jake. How did you feel about Puno and Lake Titicaca? Mm, it was just weird, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Salud. 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 <laughs> when they have these islands on Lake Titicaca and people still live on them or some of them maybe still live on them supposedly the whole feeling was weird yeah it was i'm glad we went there because titicaca is like the world's highest elevation like mm -hmm. it's neat to go to to see you hear about it it's one of those things that you've always just kind of heard about we're up bright and early heading over to the islands from puno mm -hmm. we'll be there for a day and a half exploring the native culture and seeing what they have to offer it's gonna be neat We end up actually staying on an island out yeah. with a family and it was just a bit awkward it was a gimmick i don't know i don't want to like sound like it was horrible they speak the the native language the host family only spoke a little bit of spanish so with our broken spanish and them not speaking fluent spanish we stayed with an argentinian lady was there too and it was just yeah it was just a different experience mm -hmm. we're not used <laughs> Very to weird. I, mean, I don't know. We made the most of it. We had fun with what it was. Yeah. Right? We went out to the party and they gave us the traditional. Yeah. You wear the traditional outfits and we go dance. And yeah. That was fun. It was fun. It was a bit gimmicky again. Yeah. But like we had fun with it. Kind of like a weird, a weird feeling, a weird experience. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Yep. <laughs> but on the other hand of things, Artequipa. A very fun city. Food, historical streets, the second largest metropolitan area outside of Lima. Yeah, beautiful so. big volcanoes and mountains in the backdrop of the city. Lots of restaurants. Yeah. Very, very neat city. Mm -hmm. 
It's our first day in Arequipa. We're here for five more days and then we're back to the U.S. What? So, this is our last trip of, of this, uh, this thing we're doing before we go back home. So we're gonna do Coca Canyon here Monday. We got a few more days and then it's on the plane back to the U.S. I think from an overall spectrum, a taco is superior. <laughs> Seriously, we have a Madero quality up here, and this burger is right here. So good we had to come back twice. Red Pig, contester for best burger in the world. Nerd. As good as uh, Madero. We are at the Silar Stone Quarry in Arequipa, Peru, and we are uh, looking at the quarry that they used to uh, build most of the infrastructure in the town and the city using this volcanic rock from uh, 2,000 years ago, uh, an eruption of Mount Misty and uh, this mountain range, so pretty neat. We were either deciding if we we're gonna hike the volcano, hike Mount Misty, and go mm -hmm. up like almost 20,000 feet, or if we were gonna do Coca Canyon and then go down an elevation and hike the Coca Canyon. Yes, so. both of them were multi-day hikes. Yep. So Jake and I were running down on our last days. Dirk was staying a little longer than us. So we we're like, a choice. Are we gonna do the volcano? Or are we gonna spend our last days doing the canyon? We Ultimately, chose. I think I, chose doing the canyon i didn't think i was feeling up to the volcano hike yeah. it seemed a little intense for me yeah day one called the canyon just this training for dirk's misty hike in two days It was a yeah. good three day trip, two night? No. No, just one two day. One, two day, one night. Yes. So on the first day, you get your guide and we hike down into the canyon and then you stay inside. They have like a little community built down there. Just finished, almost finished day one. Coca Canyon, Morgan, Derek, and what's your guys' thoughts? It's been a nice hike. A lot of up and down. A lot of down. <laughs> you gonna talk about Derek's complaining? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And then in the morning you get up real early and you hike back. The whole the canyon. canyon. <laughs> but beautiful canyon. That was fun. That was a two-day hike. Uh, about the one of the largest, deepest canyons in the world, uh, deeper than the Grand Canyon. Took us two days, and second day on the way back up, I just couldn't keep up with Jake and Morgan. They were like billy goats. Very quiet morning. Station Coca Canyon. We've hiked, I don't know, 1,300 feet. Came up from down there. So you need to go up there. We came from the valley right down there. Let's thing. We made it to the summit. We did it. 4,300 feet elevation gain, two days. That concludes, that concludes Cook Canyon hike. All right, that's good. Very fun, we saw the condors, the largest land bird in the world, I do believe. Yep. So we saw their six foot wingspans grazing over Flying, the canyon. Yep, right over the canyon. And there's actually people that live in the canyon and like 
actually live there. It was very neat. Yeah. Fun hike. Cook Canyon recommend. say good things are coming because we're making chocolate in an hour. That too. <laughs> this is chocolate. That's the burger bag. Cheers, guys. Last day. Last day. Here, one question. What was better, chocolate making or the Peruvian fair? <laughs> the fair was fun. Uh, the fair was fun, dude. Oh, no, that's a tough one. I think the fair was more fun just because it was surprising to see some of the ludicrousy that they're doing in the in the fair. <laughs> forward to it so much. Me and Derek have been talking about this festival all week. Wow, what do you got there? <laughs> Tickets for the Ferris wheel. <laughs> We're going down. The sketchiest ride I've ever been on is a Ferris wheel in Peru. <laughs> we decided that we're gonna go home. We were gonna get married. Which we did. We weren't going to. We did. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we were going to. Yeah, but... we, we called it off. <laughs> yeah, so we decided in August we're going to go home, plan the wedding, and that was Peru for us. And that was Dirk, Peru. Dirk decided to stay by himself, do some lone traveler. He flew north, got to experience some more of the country. So now we know we'll be back because there's yeah. plenty more in Peru that we got to do. But uh, overall thoughts on Peru, would you recommend? How was it? I would highly recommend going to Peru. It was overall an amazing trip, beautiful landscape. You have the city of Lima with amazing food. You have sand dunes. You have amazing ancient history, history and, and ruins. ruins and so much culture. Just an amazing trip. Peru is a crazy country. I would go back and do the same trip again because, you know, there's just so much to experience. Yeah. We'll be back, Peru. Dirk, enjoy the rest of the trip yourself. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye. I will remember you. Will you? Don't let your life pass you by And weep not for the memories Remember all the good times that we had I let them slip away from us when things got bad How clearly I first saw you Smiling in the sun I want to feel your warmth upon me I want to be the one I will remember you Will you remember me Don't let your
It's Brittany, bitch, and I'm back at the Michael Scott Paper Company in this basement. 